Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. So, I think I may have fixed the issue with OBS. I am not entirely sure, but uh, I like to think I did to some degree. It's definitely been mitigated. I've definitely mitigated the issue slightly. Some of the issues, not all of them. There is going to be, for certain games, that there are going to be some very ch choppy frame rate. But for the ones that I'm going to be doing right now, for the next couple months, there shouldn't be that big. It should be that big of an issue. Um, we're in KSP today. We are messing around with Kraken drives. I finished up uh, making a new variant for my Kraken drive, my main Kraken drive craft, and we are going to go into. Uh, well, we're going to be going out of the stole out of the carbon solar system. That's my goal for this video. Um, For the very astute among you, we are launching this craft. It's going to take a while just because, trust me, it's not. The issues that I'm having aren't with KSP itself. It's largely OBS based. Um, KSP, of course, is going to have issues, on, some issues on my system, but my current hardware. But uh, those, I've tuned my hardware to the best of my ability. So, yeah. OBS was having some issues regarding priority, um, CPU priority, so I had to set it to high, otherwise it really did not like running in the background. Now it seems to be running okay-ish. There are still some issues with different games, and I will be, and some I might not be able to fix. That may be an o OBS backend thing, processor backend that I don't have access to. I'm just checking something right now. That's there. I should have checked this off camera, but I'm not going to. Yeah, that. I'm going to shut that off. Oh, Lord, it's Jeb. Nope. 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 Uh, revert to vehicle assembly building. I'll be right back, folks, because that was not something that I wanted to have happen. All right, we're back. Uh, back to ascent guidance, I guess. Engage autopilot stage and...
for those who don't know what a crack and drive is or does. Um, it basically what it allows us to do is allows us to break kind of brake engines and make them give more thrust than they ordinarily would. Um, some, a lot of people, and I think the general community agreement is this is considered cheat, what's known as cheating. Um, just as We're going to go ahead and let this do its thing, its orbital maneuver. I don't really think it has enough delta V to do an orbital maneuver, but uh, we'll see. Actually, no, we're far enough out in the atmosphere. Go away, mech chip, go away. Shoo, get out of here. Anyways. We are going to use the rest of this fuel before we deploy our fairing and detach because that's going to be like, this is just the beginning. Um, I've shown off this craft a few times, but to be honest, they haven't been very good and I haven't really shown off its full capabilities. We have achieved a capable orbit. Um,
Great, I need to add two of those things. Ha! <sighs> Back to the VAB, I guess. Um. Yeah, uh, this is just going to be, this was supposed to be a demo of this, but apparently I still have some more tweaks to make. Anyways, I'll be right back. Um, by that time, we'll be back in orbit and stuff, and yeah. All right, we're back. Um, it took a bit of finagling. I'm going to have to adjust the settings more for this. But we have a functional crack and drive craft. Um, so basically how these were, these things work, and I think this is already pretty well-known and common information but for those who are new and don't really know how to understand what and how this kind of crack and drive craft in particular works. This use this is an uh this is a cal controller plus ion engine crack and drive craft. You can pretty much boost the thrust of any motor of any of the rocket engines in the game. For the most of them, not the solid fuel ones. I haven't been able to get. I don't think it'll work with solid fuel. But as far as liquid and gas and gas propellants, like ion engines, in this case, uh, you can make this work. This thing is so small and so stable, even at these velocities, that I can just cruise. And cruise we indeed shall be doing because we are going to be going outside of the Kerbal Kerbin Solar System. This is going to take a little bit up, so I'm going to speed up the footage. Uh, we're going to be speeding up the footage here.
And momentarily, we should be flinging out of the curb solar the Kerbal solar system at this point. Let's check the the, the map again. Yeah, we're gonna be flinging out. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, this is pretty much what's gonna be happening. So we're gonna be going out of this out of the uh, curb and out of the Kerbal system, and we are going to be, I guess, venturing into the unknown. We could have all we could have alternatively headed to Jewel. I don't know if there's a. Uh... I'm not entirely sure if there is a transfer window open to that. We could have alternatively gotten gone to Jewel. I've only ever done a couple mi missions to Jewel. Legitimately, I think. Well, actually, no, that's not true. I've done a f quite a few missions to Jewel legitimately, just not on camera. Anyways, let's... You know, maybe I should install another planet pack. I don't know if I want to do that, but that's something we may want to do.
And that is how you get yourselves kicked out of the carbon solar system. With relative ease, mind you. Um, I might provide a download for this craft soon. I don't know when I'm gonna get going to get around to do that, but maybe in the next couple of videos you may see a link down to mega.nz, which is a file sharing site that I use every day. Um, well, not every day, but I use just I use usually use it to distribute either a my Minecraft map. Which that which the Mega NZ link that I use is official. If you get another Mega NZ link and it doesn't, if someone shares you the map and it does not look right, I will just just go to the, one of my videos that has the my actual Minecraft map linked, and that should be a safe download. I don't spread malware. I don't like the idea of spreading malware. I am very conscious about cybersecurity, so. If you do have any questions or concerns, then please do leave them in the comments section, as I will be very responsive to answering any questions that you may or may not have. Anyways, that wraps up this video. If you did enjoy it, then please do consider hitting that like button and subscribing to my channel. YouTube is kind of becoming less and less preferred for content creators. Um, since my, I may be moving to another content creation site in some, at some point in the near future. I don't know when. We may either move to Twitch when I get a better computer or to somewhere else. Um, I'm going to have to look around and see what's available because I do not know what's currently available. I understand that there are some commu new community guidelines and I'm going to have to start reshaping my... Uh, channel a little bit to abide by those guidelines in the meantime i will be providing most of my content i am slowly moving away from roblox content because it doesn't generally perform very well on my channel and it just seems like you know maybe it's time to let that go of course i will be playing a lot in my free time and we may revisit roblox when uh if and when um, I, it's, I'm able to like, you know, uh, when I get a better computer, because some of the games on Roblox that I want to play on my channel don't work very well with OBS, or at least OBS freaks out. My computer on the hand seems perfectly fine playing them. As for recording them, it just tends to freak out and not work as intended. Basically shit, it be, be, basically OBS shits itself, like. Um, as if it's, maybe it's running out of memory or something. I don't know. Anyways, that wraps up this video for today. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.